Hey guys, it's Rosie. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be um, doing something very exciting. I will be making one of my choker necklaces for none other than the baddest bleep out there, Addison Ray. So I designed this necklace this morning after scrolling through her Instagram and TikToks for a while. It seems like she wears a decent amount of like blacks, reds kind of stuff. Mostly neutrals, but I wanted to um, do some color because color is always fun in um, jewelry like this. So I picked out um, a color scheme that is black and then like dark pink and light pink and then white. So I think this will be great for a necklace because I want to have um, letters on it too. I've got these letter beads picked out. Um, so here's the plan. You can't really see it, but that's just kind of like an outline. I'm going to do 12 blocks and then section them off to put in the letters. So yeah, I'm going to cut out all of the strings for this and then I need to try to find a way to send this to her. Hopefully we can get this video or a TikTok or Instagram or some way to reach Addison so I can send her this necklace when I'm done with it. Um, I don't know if she has an email out there, but I will definitely be doing some research so I can try to find a P.O. box or a mailing address or something to send this to her. So, let's go cut out the strings, and then I will get started with the time lapse working on the necklace. Okay, so I cut out all the string and put it on the ring, so I'm going to turn on Riverdale and sit on my bed and start a time lapse, so I'm going to work on this. Um, it'll probably take me about like an hour and a half to do this part, and then maybe another half hour to completely finish it off. Um, so yeah, let's get on the time lapse. Um, I only have three episodes of Riverdale left, so that's exciting but also sad. But yeah, let's go. I finished making all the knots on the necklace, so I basically made the body of it and put the beads on. It took me almost two hours, so that's a decent amount longer than it would have taken if there weren't any beads, um, but I think the added effect is enough for the time that I spent on it. So now I just have to um, secure the end of it and put it on the clasp, and then I will be ready to take final pictures of it. So let's go do that. So I finished the necklace and I think it turned out really great. Um, here it is. I will show you pictures of it so you can see it more closely. But it just has these little like square beads on it. Um, and I don't know, I think it turned out really cute. So I will be trying to post this on TikTok. Maybe we can get it on the For You page um, to try to get her attention so I can send her this necklace. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you want to see any more videos like this where I make people necklaces and try to send them to them. Um, comment down below who you'd want to see. Make sure to check out my social media at Rosie Revolts. Follow me there um, and check out my Etsy shop to buy other necklaces just like this one that you can customize yourself. Um, and check out my book at getoutdoorsbook.com and I will see you guys later. Bye!